Commitment to education has always been the Irvine City Council's top priority. We have continually invested financial resources to enhance the quality of education in Irvine. Last November, Irvine voters approved Measure R, the Irvine Schools Support Initiative. An overwhelming 78% of the vote continues the city's financial support to our schools for an additional three years. This is what excellence in education is all about. Go ahead. <laughs> Irvine voters also passed Measure S, confirming the city's commitment to sustainability and setting the bar high to ensure a vibrant community for generations to come. The character of any city is also defined by the public embrace of many initiatives. Our ninth annual Global Village Festival, held in October, attracted a record capacity crowd of more than 16,000 attendees. The festival, our city's signature event, truly reflects the diverse and multicultural community that is Irvine today. In September, construction began on the 225-acre Western Sector Park Development Project at the Orange County Ray Park. The nearly $70 million project includes the North Lawn multi-use fields nearing completion, as well as agricultural fields, a palm court, for arts and culture, an enhanced farm and food lab, parking improvements, and a south lawn for three lighted soccer fields. The Orange County Great Park will be a destination for residents, tourists, and children to enjoy in the years to come. This past year, we had over 65 riders on the Great Park Balloon and our summer concert series was again a major success. In 2000, for all events, the Orange County Great Park attracted more than 400,000 visitors. <laughs> Recently, you have heard much discussion about Governor Brown's proposal to eliminate redevelopment agencies commonly known as RDAs. The Great Park is directly located in the city's RDA boundary. And the tax increment generated by the redevelopment agency will be critical in completing the construction of the Great Park. We acknowledge the difficult decisions facing the state, and we want to be part of the solution. However, the city council working in concert with our partners. We'll find ways to address this very important issue because we don't believe the el elimination of the redevelopment agency is the answer. The Quail Hill Trail Connector opened last year. This collaboration between the city, the Irvine Company, and Irvine Ranch Conservancy completed another piece of the city's open access trail network. And this spring, the city council will dedicate another trail connector. This, this time, this one will be in Bomber Canyon. We continue to move forward with our strategic plan for children, youth, and families. The plan is our blueprint to address the community's well-being, physically and academically. Our progress includes the Irvine Children's Health Pro uh, Program, called iCHIP, where we have enrolled nearly 700 children into qualified health insurance program at almost no cost to the city. This has been one of the most efficient programs the city has ever implemented. This is our goal, that we want to make sure that Every single child in Irvine has access to child care and health care. <laughs> the 
This is one of the reasons why Irvine was also honored last year as one of the 100 best communities for young people by America's Promise Alliance. <laughs> University Community Park, reopened last summer after extensive remodeling. As Irvine's first community park, it has been modernized with sustainable design and upgrades. Also being funded in the design phase is a new look for Adventure Playground, where innovative programs in the years past allowed children to explore and imagine in a creative out outdoor environment. So it is important to always remember, as we do with our decades-long support of our military personnel and heritage, that we live in a larger world. Last November, we dedicated the Northwood Gratitude and Honor Memorial, recognizing every fallen service member who gave the ultimate sacrifice in Iraq and Afghanistan. What began as a grassroots, community-led memorial in 2003 is now a permanent fixture at Northwood Community Park. On a somber, memorable day, the dedication before 700 people reminded us of the initial 5,714 names as a living memorial. This is a reminder that the price of freedom is very high and ongoing. And our memorial will not be complete until the servicemen and women are returned home safely. Also this year, we will follow our tradition for Veterans Day. Irvine will host this day of remembrance on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in the 11th year on November 11, 2011. Many anniversaries require reflection. On September 11th of this year, the 10th anniversary of the terrorist attack on American soil will be observed. What was a horrific moment remains an open wound. We will never forget those who were killed by the attack and brave me men and women who died in their efforts to save lives. These are important dates to remember in 2011. So now, as we move forward, I'm deeply committed to continue the following pledges. One, we will continue to provide a transparent, open, and responsive government. We will continue to maintain a safe and sustainable community. We will support the highest quality education for our young people. We will support our local economy by continually working with our business community. We will continue moving forward with our first phase of major construction at the Orange County Gray Park. We pledge to be there for you, and we ask that you join us in our goal to maintain a vibrant Irvine community in the year ahead and for generations to come. This year, we celebrate Irvine's 40th anniversary. What better time for us to come together with a vision to build an even greater future for our community? Our aspirations are clear. We want Irvine to be the most desirable city in America. So thank you to all who have been a part of the Irvine story. Tonight, 
we launch our 40th anniversary photo contest to capture the essence of this beautiful city, past and present. And we have the first showing of one year long, our year long effort, the Irvine Oral History Project, which will premiere on ICTV Channel 30 at eight o'clock tonight, following the State of the State, uh, State of the City Address. So looking back to 1971, across 40 years, our successes and challenges have been very clear. No question, the next 40 years will challenge us as never before. But let us ensure that 40 years from now, Irvine will remain a wonderful place to live, to work, to raise a family. Together, let us ensure a community that offers our children a place to fulfill their dreams, highest hopes, and their aspiration. Let us together be a community mindful of its history, a community that embraces its diversity, and a community of destiny. I am proud to say I am Irvine. while you're standing up. So together, we are Irvine. And may God bless Irvine and God bless America. Thank you and good night.